Hey, what's up guys? Legal Bro here. Today we're talking about three of the most expensive settlements in US history. We're talking tobacco, we're talking emissions, and we're talking oil spills. Let's get into it. First one we're going to talk about is the VW emissions case back in 2015. Total settlement value $14.7 billion. What was VW found to have been doing? Well, they were throttling the emissions. That's cheating. Of course it's cheating. Nobody ever got rich being honest. They were cheating. They were doing things things to tinker with the admissions in the vehicles. What does that mean specifically? Their diesel vehicles were not clean as they claimed. They were actually much worse for the environment than what VW is putting forth. I mean, to me, the only thing worse than not caring about the environment is pretending like you care and then not caring at all. Obviously, VW was just lining their own pocket. Shame, shame, shame on you, VW. I'm sure your conduct has changed. Maybe others in the auto industry doing the same thing? Hmm. Second one on the list, who are we talking about? Deepwater Horizon oil spill. We got seals from Texas to Florida floating in this gunk. We got seagulls that can't fly off. I feel terrible for those little birds that, that can't even fly off from the water. You know, they got to put their wings out to like dry off and stuff before they get out. They must have sunk like a rock. But in all seriousness, Deepwater Horizon was a horrific oil spill spilled all throughout the Gulf. If you haven't seen the movie, it's incredible. And it's corporate. The BP settlement of 18.7 million was the only thing you could do to send a message all the way to the C-suite saying that corporate needs to be responsible for what's going on out in the field and what they are doing to our environment is terrible. BP, I can't even imagine what some of these companies have gotten away with that never surface. But anybody polluting the environment and ruining our world for all of us needs to be held accountable. If you know somebody that's actively polluting, you need to call someone and oh, by the way, there might even be money in it for you depending on the whistleblower statute and the greasiest the finale the king to ka one of the worst industries known to man tobacco and what did big tobacco do big tobacco settled for 206 billion back in the late 90s with 46 states and that settlement would be paid over a 25 year period and what did that settlement include they had to stop soliciting kids, they had to put warning labels on packaging, and they had to restrict the advertisements. We couldn't have the Marlboro Man anymore sitting on the back of a horse with a beautiful woman, you know, taking a nice drag after a dinner, right? No more of that big tobacco. Shame, shame, shame. How many of our grandparents did you kill, you scumbags? I can't even get over how many years went by and how many Americans were killed at the hands of you greedy but there you have it, Legal Bro here. If you wanna see me break down any other settlements, class settlements, mass tort settlements, you wanna see any other information, give us a comment below. Let me know what civil settlements you like. I love these types of cases because we get to hold businesses accountable when they misbehave. If you like this video and you wanna see more, like and subscribe below. See you soon, Legal Bro out.